So we've arrived in the Alpine Zone in Spruce Lake Protected Area and we're, we're fully in Alpine here. Uh, we started out at about 1400 meters and headed up the Cinnabar Trail, the North Cinnabar Trail, just north of Carpenter Lake uh, into these mountains which are just part of the southern Chilcotin mountain range. On our way up the slope we passed through Lodgepole Pine, Douglas Fir Forest, much of which uh, has been harvested uh, for timber and some allowed to regrow. And we've moved up through subalpine fir and here we are in, in sort of the limit of tree growth, what's called a sort of a crumult zone. Uh, crumults referring to these stunted individuals that are having a really hard time with deep snow packs, exposure to wind and whipping snow crystals. A, very, a great variety of alpine species around us. We have uh, lots of particularis uh, in front of these crumults. Uh, you'll see some arctic lupin, many species of the daisy family or compositae family, uh, lots and lots of different species. Um, moss as well as the typical grasses and sedges that occur uh, in the alpine zone, uh, fescue and other species of grass as well as sedge. So this is, a, this is an interesting transition zone when it comes to alpine. We're actually at the meeting point between three different alpine zones in BC. The Boreal Altai Fescue Alpine Zone, which extends from roughly where we are and north through the Chilcotin Mountains uh, all the way to northern BC. It's the region that can be thought of more as sort of true alpine, uh, where growing season length really limits uh, the flora in the alpine area. But we're also uh, in the region uh, of the coastal mountain heather zone, which extends west of us, um, very similar to what we were in in Manning Park, as well on east facing slopes from about this region and across to the Rockies, we enter the coast, the sorry, the interior mountain heather zone. So yeah, three different zones that you can read about in the brochure uh, I've given you. One of the things that it really strikes me about this meadow, um, in addition to the terrific diversity of flowers that we're seeing here in late July, right at the peak uh, of the flowering periods for these, these species, is the large number of bumblebees and other bees that you hear buzzing around. Uh, this must be just a haven uh, for bee populations. Uh, and I hope that we've got somebody studying those because we know that habitat for bees uh, is hard to come by. As climates change, it'll be interesting to see what happens to these stunted trees. And the question is always, uh, will they begin to fare better and invade uh, these alpine meadows? And if so, uh, what will become uh, of these sort of lush meadows uh, that, we, that we're, we find ourselves in?